Hi, this is Latin. Hope everyone is staying safe. And I'm back with a new series, Manufacturing Build Season 1, Episode 1. And we're going to start here. We're going to start here by setting up a parking. We're going to do a basic printer layout. Before anything, we need a building. I'm going to come two off the left, down, two off the right, makes it 20. And we're going up to 15. 20 by 15, 20 by 14, 20 by 15. Is that 20? That was 21. I didn't think it was 20. I have the wrong two. The right two for the jobs always, guys. The right two for the jobs. Okay, that's 20 by 15. This is what we want. Not what the system wants. And like always, if you ever see my build videos, I always put that window in the back. That way I can see. You want to be able to see. And this is the live game, so it will start getting dark in here. Okay, so first room is not accessible. Let's make it accessible. One, two, three. Any spaces for the left. You don't have to be precise. We're going to go into build. Distribution. First order visit is set up garage port and I come two off the right for garage port and the next one sh I should be fine there there's two ways to do this there's many ways to do this I like to come here and we're not gonna go that way and the reason we're not gonna go that way is because we want to go this way we want it to flow that way. We want this one to flow that way. So that means this one we want two off the top to flow that way. And two off of that one to flow that way. There's an extra one. Not a problem. I have a delete tool that I can use for that. Okay, when you're gonna drop in printers, it's always good to know what year you're gonna be playing in when you start the game. You could be building this for blueprint to be dropped in when you move, or you could be building this for a building that you're gonna have next door, which is gonna be your rental. So if you're building it for a rental, whatever you're gonna build for, important to know what year. We're in 2003, so we could go with the medium printers here. That's the first thing I check. What year are we in? The next thing I check, how many printers did this company have? Because we disabled their printers so that we can build something and then utilize the rest of it. We have 20 printers there. Next, we want pallets, remember. Garage port, we need pallets because we're going to have couriers coming to pick these up. And you want them ready when they come here. I usually just build four. And I like to do is build another line right there. In fact, all this, if I build another line right there, I guess all this has to be moved back one. So that this could be feedback into there, which means this has to be turned. So if it goes into the dead end, boom, it goes. So the traps, this will go down and drop here. When they press back that, it'll drop here. Then it'll drop here, then it'll drop here. get picked up on this side whether the place is correctly this one has to be there to be dropped picked up here so once it fills up this fills up then it's gonna this is gonna fill up the reason I do this line is because this line is longer. So I compensate with this. 
and we can make pallets on this side too and just feed back into it to here so it could be never ending one two three four and on this side we're just gonna do pickups I don't like to duplicate this, so I think I'm not paying for it, but I'm being charged. Now we need prints. So how do we get prints? Well, this is like live game, like I said. We'll go into elevators and stairs and all of that when we're just doing builds. This is basically waiting rooms, restrooms, all that, when we're doing actual builds. These are just manufacturing layouts and print layouts. So. We won't go into that right now. So if we go away from build. This is a live game, like I said before. Let's go look at printing. Do you require printing? Oh yeah, look, look at that. Quite a bit of printing. And it's all due in December. And I made sure that it was due in December. We're in April, so we have all the time in the world to make sure that it gets out. So what's the next step? Currently used by nobody effective this 100%. The minute we turn this off, this next printer, next print in 53, 52 starts counting down from 60. Then we need more light in this place, at least for the sake of being able to see. Not that much more light, huh? Well, it's getting dark. <laughs> 6 45 p.m so this thing you're going to start printing any second now how many seconds any second 26 seconds oh there they go 12 seconds let's see how let's watch this get this started and put it in slow so we can see the process what's happening this is full so these will not feed forward this one is past the drop so it will not drop and we could move this last drop to here so that it does drop and it comes up on the other side. So, they'll start to fill up. And I don't want it to get past 12 because I want to buy some couriers because there are no couriers in this game because this game has a heliport. And what I did was I took their printers away. So the manufacturing, everything is going to the heliport and all the printing is being done over here. Because this is the only printers on this side. And we're on the other side of the complex. And I just purchased this land so we could do this. Somebody called in sick. So we're going to ignore all this. And, and if you guys could see this company is all in PM, research and porting. We don't need to see that for what we have to do here. Okay, so it's 12.23 and it went past 12 and I didn't want to get past 12. So I'm going to go hire some couriers. So you could call couriers so they'll charge you $100 up front and $125 per box. Do the math, make the right decision, hire a courier. I'm going to hire a courier. I could go select a courier. He will be my best friend. I'm gonna start them at six. I'm gonna select them so that we got parking for six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I do four and four. The last two guys I could uh, overlap them because they'll come in and take the other two places. And then these guys are cool. These guys leave at not ten. These guys come in and there, so that are all over that. Okay, that's so we're gonna do twelve. And these last guys will come in at the same time. Yeah, we're gonna go push forward and watch this grow. We're going to the next day. And here they come. Yeah, let's slow this down. And the idea is to, by the time the last careers leave at 7 p.m., to have all this cleaned up. Reason being, anything here after a certain time, after 7 p.m., is not going to get picked up until the next day. So if there was two today, you failed it. What time did I put on the pickup? What time was it? Six? Oh, they loaded up beforehand. There was more than they could carry, so they loaded up one, two, three, four. They loaded up beforehand. So if there's a lot overnight and they load up, then what we have to do is push these back. Let's push this to nine, see if they'll come in nine. If I change it now, they may not come. Remember, the object is to get all this cleaned up by the end of the day, 7 p.m. We can fast forward to the next pickup. I think we should be more than adequate. 
curious to get all this done. Next pickup is a 12, right? Next pickup is a 12, right? Don't tell me it's not a 12. 9 a.m. What happened to 9 a.m.? Oh, because I was playing with this. Don't tell me this went to the next day. Because I was playing with it. Don't tell me it went to the next day. Because that's probably what happened. No, yeah, we're into May. Not to self. Don't bring up the higher. Because I believe it resets the time. And this is full. With the exception of the last pallet, it's full now. So those first guys that come to pick up will be overwhelmed again. Not in the, f in the beginning, but that's when they be cross. There was no other pickups today, so tomorrow morning. We should be able to clean this up within day two. We're into June. Ever since the holo patch came about, I've gotten away from couriers. And what's this decision making? How many do you need? Too much math. And I love math, but who doesn't love strategy in that math? African strategies, they will come from the same tree. But I mean, these guys just get it all cleaned up. And it's only 10. So the 12 o'clock crew should be able to clean this all up. You know what it is? They're sending one truck and two guys. I just realized that I ordered two couriers, but they're sending one truck with two guys rather than two trucks. I don't want to look at it until we're done. Davis Bush has retired. Okay, so the next pickup is tomorrow. So, give me, let's go look at this. Couriers, C4, there was two. This, they sent three trucks two cars they sent two cars with two guys in one car and one guy in the second car this they sent one car and this they sent one car so we're better off to get three cars make these three everything is three and you'll get three cars i'll get you get two cars i mean and this let's add another body here select the body add the body and that's 12 so that's three 12 three so we'll get to trucks to van two couriers will get you net you one van three couriers will net you two vans four couriers will net you two vans five couriers will net you three vans two couriers to a van i thought they get you so that i mean every van with two couriers is two thousand dollars so the best thing is to have tag them by two hours one courier boom next hour another courier next hour another courier that way you'll get more vans and i don't know how much you more work they'll get done but it would make sense that they will get more work done since they have more vans they have more room to carry see three couriers two vans let's see if this does a better job than the other one three more couriers two vans where's that guy coming from oh they're waiting for them now See, so you could reduce it because they are waiting. I wonder what they guy's doing walking all the way around. Jesus Christ, he's got that $166 million. How much was it when we got here? I didn't remember. I thought it was 130 something. I'm not gonna go look, us. that's not what we're here for. So that's it, that is printing in a nutshell. Set up your printers, set up your pallets, set up your drop points, set up your pickup points, and the last order business is to make sure you set up your delivery parking only, deliveries only. Now, if you're building this for rental, this will not read deliveries only, so for rental, keep it away from the main building, keep it away from the staff. The only staff that should be parking here in the evenings and in during the day is the cleaning staff. And that is if you're in a rental, because if you're in a live game that you move to, you mark these all deliveries. Cleaning staff will not park, so you could leave one for the cleaning staff, though. It's up to you. I think we got rid of everything. Go and take a peek. 180,000 in December. And that's done. It's in the green. Not a problem. We're in August. Now they're all asleep. Okay, that's printing. Next, consoles. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out.